In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and run virtual machines on any Apple Silicon Mac that allows installing Windows 11 or Linux ARM Edition. We will be exploring the best virtualization software tools available for the Apple Silicon Macs and find out which one is an ideal choice for you to create and run virtual machines on the Apple Silicon Mac. For those who don't know, a virtual machine acts like a physical computer and helps to run or test an operating system called Guest OS. Your Mac will act like a host OS or parent OS and provides all the system resources like CPU and memory to run an operating system in isolated environment. Now this way you can run Windows 11, Ubuntu and Kali Linux on Apple Silicon Mac which indeed eliminates the need for dual booting. Thanks to the all new Mac OS virtualization framework that allows running ARM64 based operating systems on Apple Silicon Mac at near native speeds. Keep in mind, Apple Silicon uses ARM architecture. It can only support ARM64 based OS running inside a virtual machine. To create a virtual machine, you need virtualization software on the operating system. Make sure to download an ISO that says ARM64 or Arch64 on the file name. Now let's explore the best software tools for Apple Silicon that allows creating and running virtual machines. Now let's start with the UTM. UTM is a free and QEMU based open source emulation software for Apple Silicon Macs that is widely used and actively maintained. UTM is designed to give the flexibility of QEMU without the steep learning curve that comes with it. You can consider UTM as a front end user interface to QEMU. Using UTM, you can create a virtual machine for Windows 11, Mac OS, and Linux seamlessly. I made a bunch of videos on UTM installing Windows 11 or Linux. Check the link in the description for more information. The standard feature of UTM is that it supports emulation. Now using it, you can emulate Intel or AMD based OS on Apple Silicon. Now this way, technically, it's possible to run Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows XP and more. Now keep in mind, emulation involves translation and takes many hours to install and run x86 OS on Apple Silicon Mac. So it's better to use virtualization and install ARM64 based operating systems. Now one of the disadvantages of using UTM is it does not support GPU emulation or virtualization on Windows 11 and therefore lacks support for OpenGL and DirectX. Now apart from this, I tried running Kali Linux on UTM. It does not work fine each time the new update of Kali breaks the virtual machine from booting. Now this is where VMware Fusion comes into the picture. It's the most powerful virtualization software that allows users to run multiple operating systems on their M1 or M2 Mac simultaneously. I tried a few Linux distros like Ubuntu Server, Kali Linux, and OpenSUSE and works very well without any issues. The main features of VMware Fusion include support for the Windows Display Driver model, Windows 11 support that helps run Windows 11 virtual machines on Apple Silicon hardware with the new virtual TPM with fast encryption. Now, compared to UTM, VMware provides improved OpenGL 4.3 support for Windows and Linux ARM64 virtual machines on Apple Silicon Macs. If you are looking to run some graphic intensive Windows 11 applications and games on Apple Silicon Mac, then a parallel desktop is the one you must try. Parallels is the top notch virtualization software for Apple Silicon Mac that offers an incredible performance of Windows 11 running on a virtual machine. Using Parallels, you can install Steam to play Windows games. Parallel is a premium tool and you need to buy a license key to take full advantage of Apple Silicon. It also offers a 14-day trial period to try and test Windows 11 on your Mac for free of cost. Now trust me guys, this is an incredible premium software that is worth buying if you decide to use Windows 11 for longer. 
It's time to talk about gaming in Windows 11 using Parallels. I used Steam and played Mortal Kombat and guess what? The gameplay was incredible. I have not noticed any frame drops. It was so smooth and it's unbelievable that we have installed Windows 11 on a virtual machine that is capable of playing Steam games. And lastly, let's take a look at the VirtualBox. It's an open source type 2 hypervisor that creates a virtual machine to run another operating system. Unlike other software, VirtualBox behaves differently on Apple Silicon and becomes an emulator that runs x86 guests like Windows XP on Apple Silicon Max. It cannot run ARM-based OS, which is a major issue. VirtualBox for Apple Silicon is in the developer stage and cannot virtualize any ARM or x64 OS on Apple Silicon. Now as of now, the progress of the VirtualBox for Apple Silicon Mac is unknown. So it's better to use UTM, VMware Fusion, and Parallels to create a virtual machine on M1 or M2 Mac to run Windows 11 or Linux ARM edition. And that's pretty much it. These are some of the best virtualization software tools available for the Apple Silicon Macs. Now, out of them, I like using VMware Fusion for free of cost. It supports many guest operating systems. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.